Hey everybody, I'm Argelfump. I'm playing Sherlock Holmes versus Arsene Lupin. They keep changing his pronunciation. I think it's Arsene, but then he was like, I'm Arsene, like an arsonist, in the previous video when he was being... He's that. Oh no! Oh no! He, he was being very, very naughty and making out with Queen Victoria. It was gross and ridiculous. And this part of the game proves to be kind of interesting. At least I hope it's interesting. It's just a chase These sequence. Shanks are from the lock. Lupin must have thrown them down after closing this door again. I think that's it. Like Sherlock Holmes is just chasing after Lupin. This grill is closed, and there's no hope to force it open, as it's in such good condition. Because like the previous like hour and a half was just like um you know scavenger hunts basically, and uh, I don't think we've got scavenger hunts. Look, there's nothing we can interact with here. So therefore, it's not a scavenger hunt. That's this great. This is closed, and there's no hope to force it open, as it's in such good condition. Okay, what about this one? The opening mechanism of this grill seems to be quite sophisticated. So this is just going to be a series of puzzles, correct? Series of puzzles. Ooh. Ooh, I bet we're using this here. Right, I bet I'm using... I mean, I pull out these metal rods and use them here to solve this puzzle. The opening mechanism of this grill seems to be quite sophisticated. Are not, whatever. Okay, so 12 plus 2 minus, ooh, L-I-I, -I, minus 52? That, that, how does that even work? Um, can I move these rods, like, sideways or, or you know, counterclockwise? Whoop. I can. Hmm. Okay, so the math here is 12. Ooh, what if I did something like this? Yeah. Okay, and then I could do like a times here, perhaps? Yep. I think that would be the, um, the solution to this puzzle. Anyway. <clears throat> I sure hope this isn't one of those puzzles where I need to get the exact solution the game's looking for. So, 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 52. L, L is 52 in Roman numerals, unless I'm mistaken. So, um, 14 plus 52 is obviously 64, right? Pulling out my calculator. No, it's 66. Duh, that's how I got it. So, 100 minus what equals 66? Ooh, but see, we've got this, like, line here. We've got to do something about it. So, obviously, it's going to be an X, which is 11. So, 100 minus 11, that gives me 89. Now, how do I get from there to uh, 56? I mean, 66. Well, I need to subtract 23. And 23 is X, X, I, I, I. Ooh, and there's no room to make a minus, is there? Huh. Yeah, the, this thing <laughs> grows in size when you turn it on its side to prevent you from making a minus sign. I see. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help here. I'm sorry. Okay, I picked up the rods. Use them to make the equation true. Okay, so in decimal numbers, the sum is 81. Well, that helps. 81. Well, let's fix this top thing. So, how do we get 81 from 52? Well, I've got 66 right now, correct? 12 plus 2 plus uh, 52. Yeah, that's 66. And I've already forgotten the number I'm looking for. 81. Okay. 66 minus 81 is 15. I need to get an extra 15 on there. Um... Even if I do something like this, I don't think that works. So that would be 24 plus 52. That's 76. I'm still five short. Um, hmm. Well, darn, I really don't want to, like, give up this puzzle quite yet. What if I do something like this? Oh, I can't make a C here. 
if I make a C like this, that, mm -mm, that's not going to work. So how am I going to get... Let's see, I can't turn this L into something else. I mean, I can't turn it into a U or a C. I could try to make it into a C, but that wouldn't work. Um, gotta help me out here. 22 plus 7 plus 52. Hold on a second. The sides read 22 plus 7 plus 52. That is 12 plus 7 plus 52. In order to get 22, I'd have to throw this on there. Yeah, there's no way I would be able to solve that puzzle on my own. Okay. Well, then let's see what was the other one. 100 minus 23 plus 4. It's just not obvious that you can make these X's like that. Um, okay. Minus 23. But it uses all the bars. Open. Cool. So... Uh, let's keep chasing after Lupin. Might have had some trouble with that puzzle, but don't worry, the next puzzle will not stop me. Where is he? Pull the lever. Aha! Yeah, that was an easy puzzle. I'm such a genius. I'm such a genius. All of these objects are ancient. They must be from the Norman era. Cool. Who's a Norman? I don't know, but there's lots of stuff we can interact with. This part is in poor condition. I bet Lupin escaped through here. Closed. No, oh, no. How do I, I open need it? Something. Okay. What's this that he can interact with? Interesting. I bet if he like tied something to that. Yeah, if you tied a chain to that, through that, uh, you know, if I got a really long chain, is there a really long chain anywhere? The bow of this Norman longship is very heavy and seems quite sturdy. Hmm. The bow of this Norman longship is. It doesn't look like I can interact with it, though. I can just look at it. First person mode. Is there anything else I can mess with? These things. Yes. Come to Sherlock. This may prove to be useful. This may prove to be useful. Okay, anything else here? No. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to combine them. Giving me a chain. I bet I tied the chain. Um, I need something through these things. So I must have made a mistake. Time to think. Okay, what if I tie it to the door first, and then I tie it to the thing on the ceiling? How am I going to reach the ceiling? I don't know. I just reach up and do it. Perfect. That is so not I realistic. Time to think. Okay, hmm. Let's see. Well, if he's not putting it on the door, then it must be being put on this. this thing. Elementary. Alrighty. Yeah, you think he would be Close. able to pull it through that little. that little, um, hook latch there, but apparently not. No matter. Puzzle is simple enough. Now I simply drop this thing, right? How do I drop it? Oh, dropped a chain here at the at the start. And with any luck, that smashed Lupin on the head, ending our little game of cat and mouse. I don't think I was that lucky. No, no, no. I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. But but you were chasing after Lupin, and this is the direction he ran in. You, you're, you're in the right spot, sir. Okay, is there anything I can look at? That is a dress. That is not a dress. Come on, what is it? This may prove to be useful. Darts, okay, anything else? This is definitely like some sort of fashion area. Gonna steal this, come on. This bagpipe is capable of releasing air under great pressure. That can surely be of use to me. This collection of costumes is magnificent. 
all are in excellent condition. I suppose... Hmm, okay, let's turn around this way. Sorry if first person mode uh, annoys anyone, but, um... This is clearly the easiest way to get around. Ah! Ah! I say as I get stuck. Oh, that's the thing that I was Nothing trying to grab. Nothing special here. Well, Nothing special here. Then why can you interact with it? Ugh. I think you'll agree it would have been quite difficult to uh, notice that bagpipe. What's... And the thing that I can interact with there. I thought maybe I could. I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, so it looks like we're finished. Grabbing items here. What? Oh, okay, here's where the puzzle These is. These footprints are too blurred to gain any information. Oh, whatever, Sherlock. Hmm, there is something here. Oh, are we rebuilding a totem pole? It's part of an Indian totem. Cool. It's part of an Indian totem. I wonder where we're gonna build it. Probably, like, directly underneath that. It's part of an Indian totem. Underneath the, um, you know... Gosh, what do you call it? The thing in the ceiling. It's part of an Indian totem. Trap door. Probably it's a trap door. You know, it might help if I were to... <laughs> what's the word? Try to stand on that horse there, but no. Let's see. Do I have to put them in an order? Probably. This piece looks like it's the bottom because it has a base attached. What part goes next? Let's go with this one. No, I can't do that. Well, Sherlock will automatically tell me when I get a piece wrong, so no worries. I think the bird is at the top. Again, Sherlock is amazingly able to reach like twice his <laughs> height to, to climb up areas. Okay, how do I climb up this totem? Just click on it. Okay, so I've solved the puzzle, and I don't think I can go back to. I can go back down in case I've missed those items from earlier, but I didn't. Nothing special here. That's good. It would be horrible if the game, like, you know, you got stuck because you didn't get that bagpipe. What on earth is this? Elementary. Open. Wow, that was a simple puzzle. Okay, is there anything else in this room I can interact with? No, there isn't. Next room. We're on fire. Lots of things I can interact with here. This may prove to be useful. What about this? This may prove to be useful. I'm just stealing everything. Nothing special here. That's a mirror. I need something. Hmm. Okay, we got a grain bag. Or box. This may prove to be useful. Is that a box of glass? Yeah, it was glass. Hmm. Okay. I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. I already climbed up a level. I'm doing another one? I need something. Hmm. It's not the wooden crate. What about the coffin? That'll work. I mean, I guess the crate could have served the exact same purpose, but... I need something. Oh, okay. He wants both of them to make the mirror sort of level. That doesn't seem very safe. How did that work? Um, ooh, I can rotate. Whoa! Rotation! There's nothing I can see or interact with by rotation! So why do I even have this? I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. Hmm. Okay, what if I use my bagpipe here? I came down a level. I must find a way to get back up. Nope. What if I use the mirror here? I've only got three Here's items. This system, I can see how the rope is attached. 
right, I knew it. Okay, so, ooh, look, I can see how this rope is attached. What is this rope? I need something. I need to attack it with darts, I imagine. Very complicated, but here we go. I'm gonna aim. I need something. I need something. I thought I pulled out the darts. Surely. <laughs> Sherlock. Okay, um... Are the bagpipes? Hmm, doesn't look like the darts are anywhere. I need something. This is, uh, I mean, this has been kind of a tough segment starting I off with those something. numbers. I need something. But I, I've been well so far. However, I do need to use a hint here. Come on. Hint, I'm at the wrong angle. I need a reversed angle. There's a small mirror. Position that and you'll look around the room. You'll be able to see the rope. You're going to need something to remotely sever. It's the set of bagpipes and the bagpipes fire items. Oh, really? I'm going to put the darts in the bagpipes instead of just throwing them? Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. So that's why that wasn't working. That's a really cute solution. I would have just thrown the darts. Open. That would have been so much simpler, Sherlock. <laughs> Aww. I'm sorry, that's just so cute. I, I, I like that. Okay, how do I get out? How do I just... Do I just push my way out now? Do I back away and then try again now? Okay. Back away and try again. I mean, I presume that let me um, through, but there's nothing I can interact with here. I spin around and see there's nothing I can interact with here. I've got nothing in my bag. So, um, hmm. Using the apparatus, aim at the rope. If your aim is true, the rope is severed. You'll be able to open the grate and continue on to the next room. But how? Where do I click on the grate? There! Oh! The corner, apparently. It was not showing up when I pressed this button, this, the, 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 the space button, which shows everything I can mess around with. So, you'll forgive me for not solving that puzzle a immediately. A message. What now? A message from Lupin. Mr. Holmes, I must hastily scribble these few words. I hear you right behind me. We've got, I've got not too much time. Our game's near the end, and I thought that I'd have to quit. Ha ha. I mean, I'm winning. Ooh, ooh, we almost got him last time. There's only one more feat to accomplish, which to me is child's play. This event will have a cataclysmic effect, and only you can prevent it. I must give you a hint according to the rules of the game. I entered through the stone walls by first entering through the wooden walls. Tonight, I'll enter a building which is like both of these places at the same time, and time will stop. Is he stealing Big Ben? No, um, Tower of London, right? The walkthrough says Her the Majesty next segment is, Tower is of London. nevertheless <laughs> safe. It wasn't without difficulty, but I managed to get her to accept a triple retinue. It's strange, but something has changed in her since this incident. After her understandable anger, she seemed incredibly serene, even playful. I've never seen her like that. When I left her, she was dreamy. Regardless, nothing happened to her, and that's all that matters to us. I have placed an additional 12 of our best agents amongst the staff at her country residence. My goodness, intruding into Buckingham Palace like that. That Frenchman isn't lacking in daring, and all for nothing, it would appear. How is that? Lupin went through all that trouble without succeeding? Perhaps this will put an end to all this folly. If we are to believe the calling card that Lupin left for me in the basement at Buckingham, it would appear he accomplished his aim, although he didn't specify what that was. Furthermore, he seems determined to bring this whole enterprise to completion and commit his last theft tonight. If he succeeds, we will have lost a fifth battle, and with it, the war. National humiliation is in the offing, our Waterloo. Holmes, how can you be so defeatist? You haven't clearly explained how Lupin managed to escape from the Queen's bedchamber and the palace, but he seems to have had a fair bit of luck yet again. It can't last forever. In addition, 
We are English and must claim what is rightfully ours. Well put, Dr. Watson. As courageous as he is, I assure you he took nothing from his quick pass through the Queen's bedchamber. Either way, there was nothing to take. The bedchamber, like Her Majesty's lavatory, are models of austerity. As for the crown jewels and other adornments, they can be found in a steel cage at the other end of London. Lupin is nothing but a braggart, a trite cat burglar who got incredibly lucky and will soon find himself shackled at the ankles and wrists in one of the dankest cells at Dartmoor. Tell me, Dr. Watson, what do these phrases mean, and where must we go in order to put an end to this masquerade? <laughs> okay, we're gonna give Dr. Watson this job. They're saying that there is nothing for him to steal. He did steal something. He stole Queen Victoria's heart.